Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! Since last time, I did about 20 digs with the Chocobos there, got the Tetratic Crown, the Tetratic Tiara, so now we've got Sprint Shoes for everyone! It is amazing! So yeah, we are lightning fast, literally! Uh, I didn't give the Aurora Scarf to Lightning, though, because with the Sprint Shoes and the Axis Blade, she doesn't need the Aurora Scarf to synthesize ATB rate plus 10. Although she could get ATB rate plus 15, but I like having the talismans there. And I've listed everything I've sold and how to get sprint shoes in the video description because, well, I wanted to do that off screen. So, one more thing I wanted to show off here. Okay, I could show these guys off. Let's see how fast we really are now. I wasn't planning on this, but, uh, sure, let's go for it. <laughs> you don't stand that chance against me. Remember how long these guys took me to kill the first time? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh man, just so fast now with those sprint shoes. Oh man. Now let's check these guys out. Now, when I was here earlier, I can't get Snow to say it anymore because I think he's embarrassed. He asked, I wonder what these guys look like sheer. I am dead serious. Like, what the hell's wrong with you, Snow? That's like rather sadistic for him to say. I mean, uh, has he got like meal? a fetish or something? Or oh, what's she doing this time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Back? Maybe Vanille's the one with the fetish. I don't know. Sheep fetish. Uh... Hey. You're not mad, are you? What are you trying to do? Just what, what are you doing? Stop that! You're ripping the guy's hair off! What the hell is wrong with these Sorry people? No hard feelings, huh? And I don't think they ever explain what she wanted that for. She just takes a little bit of their wool and I guess that's it. It's a component. It doesn't do anything. You can sell it for like a gill. And it doesn't like, you know, help you upgrade things any faster, so. I don't know, viewers. You got me on that one. I already fought all the enemies here off screen, They're, except for the O2, because, well, I, I can't kill that guy yet. So, uh, uh, I well, maybe I could, but uh, I don't want to. And I also explored this hallway over there, and we can't get into that big area there because there's a obstacle in our way. So, what I want to do is get all the way over here to take care of mission 16. I will meet you at the save point right there. Okay, I made it all the way back to the Font of Namba, the area where we met up with all those chocobos earlier. And now, we got perhaps one of the hardest missions, maybe in the game, I don't know. But yeah, we got some new enemies here that I'm going to be making to sleep with the fishes. For boss time! Now, there's a new enemy here called Serato Raptor, so we want to leave her that guy. The thing with that guy is that, he well, he's weak to Quake, so I'm going to use that. But they can summon... Ceratosaurus, and that is damned annoying because, uh, well, just because, you know, there's, yeah, you see there's a whole bunch of those Ceratosaurus. The pink guys are the Ceratosaurus, the gray guys are the, uh, or the blue gray guys are the, uh, Ceratoraptors. So what I want to do is I just want to go dual blitz attack because with that axis blade, lightning is practically, practically getting half a free turn every time she just goes all out. You want to use Sentinel there. And I want to stay on Sentinel as long as I can. Okay, now I need to uh, switch to Medsend Med. Fortunately, by this point, I have already taught Kira to Lightning Med. So that'll really help out a lot. Then switch back to Comsend Rev as quickly as possible. And just keep on going after the Serato Raptors. Don't worry about any of the other enemies. You'll probably kill half of them incidentally while I'm using Blitz here. And even if you've got a guy staggered, just keep on going with the uh, dual Blitz. Because you'll probably hit some other enemies. And yeah, I mean, it'll really help your turn gauge go up a lot faster. Okay, so now we want to switch to... Every time I kill one of the Serato Raptors, I pretty much want to go to uh, Med Send Med. Then switch back to Com Rav. Or Com Send Rav. And just try to keep the... Uh, the sentinel moving there. Okay, now we don't have as many enemies, so now I want to start just using straight up attack there. There we go. 
Yeah, once you reduce their numbers, then the battle becomes much more manageable. But I'll be honest, the real trick to the battle is just using a sentinel. That's really all there is to it. I mean, there's just a lot of enemies, and next... Oh, man, they got slow on me. Okay, I'll go one more turn, but uh, now I wanted to kill the guy first. Well, okay, I'll kill the guy. If Snow dies, well, I can revive him. So, he won't stay dead permanently, so... He'll only be mostly dead, not all dead. Um, oh, I was like... What happened to my, uh, slow? I guess it wore off eventually. There we go! Switch back to Comsen Rav and go after the Serato Raptor. One more! Maybe I should be using Blitz here. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're in good shape. Oh man, I just, this this was the battle when I first played the game. This was the battle where I suddenly realized how good Sentinel really was. I mean, hey, I love tanking as much as the next guy, but up to this point, I never really like got into Sentinel. It was like, well, I mean, why bother? I could just use Medic and just heal afterwards, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, probably go after that guy and switch to Comrade Rav because we're doing pretty good now. Now they can't summon any more uh, of their friends because, well, I've killed all the guys who can actually do the summoning. So let's at least uh, get this guy staggered if I can. Last one. Oh, I must have killed the other Sahajin uh, with the blitz and stuff. Oh, there we go. Come on, get him. Launch him into the air for the final kill. Finish him. All right, got him. Got a decent score for the battle, so that's how you uh, complete mission 16. All right. Come on, rank up. Uh, I wanted to get, like, fish killer or something like that. I don't know. Okay, well, that's everything that uh, I want to do here. So now let's actually go to the end of this place now. Uh, I'm just going to meet you back at the uh, save point by the Vicky <laughs> or however you pronounce that guy's name. And uh, and the King Behemoth, who were fighting each other there. And uh, where the hell is it? There it is. Okay. I'll meet you right over there by that save point, And then we'll move along. Okay. I've made it all the way up here. So now let's head to our destination. I've done all the missions that I can here. So that's everything. Oh, you know what? There was one more mission that I wanted to do. I think you can only do the first 17. I think all the other ones are locked out at this point in the game. So even if I wanted to do more of them, I couldn't. So, oh, uh, oh, her husband was killed by this guy. Okay. I was going to say, what, now the wife wants to kill her husband after the husband killed her? Or what? From that other mission? Or whatever. But anyway, yeah, we got another robot to uh, take out, so... Yeah, we haven't seen many robots around here ever since, ever since we got here. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Uh, let's see, where is that guy? Is he far away? Yeah, he's far enough away to take a chocobo, but you know what? Let's go there on screen. Why not? <laughs> Show some more uh, chocobo riding with uh, lightning there. Yeah, you like to ride that chocobo, don't you? Like At least you can ride it normally. Um, I might show some other people riding a chocobo, uh, particularly Fang. Uh, the other characters, eh, I don't really see much amusing about them riding chocobos, but uh, specifically Fang there. Okay, uh, am I even going in the right direction? Yeah, I am. Okay. Just uh, consulting my GPS here. Ah, there he is. How's it going? Dismount! Oh, you know what? As long as I'm in the area and I'm dismounted, now I can pick up that one treasure that I missed up, or that I missed earlier there. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, he's behind me. There we go. How's it going? Did I get another preemptive strike for boss time? Yes, I did. Okay, so first things first, lever this guy, and uh, I, hmm, I thought I started on. Uh, or on Saboteur, but well, anyway, the trick to this guy is uh, getting deep protect and the shell on him. He's susceptible to uh, imperil. Huh. Well, there you go. Well, at least get deep protect and deep shell on the guy. And yeah, he doesn't take that much to stagger, even if you didn't get the preemptive strike on him. But then, uh, yeah, I mean, you need a sentinel usually at the beginning because he hits really hard. And then, uh, once you get the debuffs on him, 
chain him. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Really not a whole lot to that guy. Well, there we go. But yeah, I just figured I'd do missions 15, 16, 17. Just because. Whatever. You know, I figured as long as I'm in the area, might as well finish them. Uh, where's that other chest that I missed? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Yeah, we got some big guys that I still want to take out. Like those, uh... Well, pretty much, yeah, there's this guy. And there's those two King BMS over there. Both of them are very killable at this point in the game. Uh, now that I've actually gotten my stats high enough. But they're probably killable earlier, but more annoying. Now it's probably reasonable to expect to be able to kill them. So, um, I'm going to have to make some very, very special arrangements for it. But it can be done. So, uh... I'm not going to do that this time, though. That's gonna, That would take me way too long to uh, do in this episode. But uh, for now, I'll... Uh, well, let's get over here and pick up that one chest that I somehow missed before. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, I'm going to need Rav Rav Sav back. Why do I have this set up? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, yeah, I was using... Was I using it for that mission? Ah, whatever. All right, for defeating those guys, we get that speed sash that I was talking about there, so. Okay, so I think that's all the treasure and all the missions that we can do in the Arkelt Step right now. I think the only treasures that I've missed, there's an Adamantulid right there guarding one. There's a couple King Behemoths guarding one there. And there's an Adamantulid guarding one there. If there's any others that I've missed, okay, now let me know, okay? I mean, when I get 100 people telling me the same thing, okay, that, yeah, that gets a little annoying, but anyway. So what I want to do is, now I'll meet you back here and, you know, I got a little bit of time. I can't kill the big guys today. They'll take too long. But, well, maybe I'll uh, head on to Erba and show you the next, show you the next cutscene over there. So uh, I'll just, oh man, I'll just meet you back at the save point where I was before. Okay, we're back and we're all set and ready to go. I'm not arranging my party for the next area yet because I'm not actually gonna go there. I just figured, well, I got a couple extra minutes. Might as well show you the next cutscene. I won't level grind against those guys, but I will take every opportunity that I can to fight them if I'm in the area. So, yeah, I suppose this could be sort of considered level grinding, but there we go. So yeah, this is where we're supposed to go to continue on with the story. Like, how many episodes was There's this? There's a way like, through here. Well, gee, you think? But, yeah, I mean, so, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Well, it took me not nearly as long as I thought it would to, uh, get through all this stuff. I mean, really, uh... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was thinking about, you know, d doing two episodes per day just because I thought this was going to take forever, but I didn't realize, you know by off-screening so many of the battles and a lot of the travel times that that would really make things go a lot faster. I mean, usually when I'm at this point, I'm usually at about more like 35 hours. I don't know why everything's going so much faster. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for it, but yeah, I, I honestly don't know why. You uh, got me on that one, viewers. So yeah, we could head on through here, but I have some old friends that I want to uh, take care of first. Some old big friends that I want to exact some revenge on. But can we rise the shoe puff? Or will it ride like me? Just one bit. Find out next time. Let's play Final Fantasy 13. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. Yeah, I'm just going to meet you back at the save point that I was just at.